Oh, hey guys, I bet you're just as excited as I am to be playing with this tripod because this tripod actually goes really high. So if you're filming someone who is above 6'2", which are a few, there are a few lanky tall people out there in the world, <laughs> myself included, and when you have a conventional tripod, which are 98% of tripods out there, you're going to interview them and they're looking down at you like this and it looks really weird. And so, what I did is I got a tripod that is tall. Now, I did swap out the head on this and I put my nice Manfrotto head on this, but I need to say that the tripod from the neck down is absolute trash. It's one out of five stars. Why am I being so harsh, Po? You're just so judgmental lately. Wow, well, it's because I was at a film shoot and I went to raise this up. Oh, will you look at that? <laughs> it's not supposed to do that. So the little sleeve inside here has come undone, completely rattled, and so it, uh, yeah, that's, that's, this, this, this is what you're dealing with during a film shoot. But wait, it gets better. So I love these little dovetail type flips like this instead of the screw on and off. And I love to just kind of, you know, you bring it out like this and like this, and it's, it's tight, right? Especially when you have like $5,000 worth of equipment on top of your tripod. You want it to be tight. Are you with me? Well, let's go ahead and flip that one. <gasps> oh, will you look at that? Wait, what's, what's, it's not supposed to do that. Wow. Well, that's because same as what's going on up here, there's a sleeve inside there and that's what happens. So during the film shoot, you have to do this awkward thing where, where, where you're trying to put your leg back in and you're kind of looking around over your shoulder because odds are you're being hired to be there at your film shoot. And if it's like a wedding or something, it's pretty embarrassing. And all of a sudden your client is like, are, are you okay? And you're just like, nope. I just made the mistake of getting the tallest tripod on Amazon, thinking that it will be pretty decent quality. And unfortunately, everything else is pretty decent quality, but I finally just splurged and got an actual bulky, heavy duty, professional grade Manfrotto tripod. It doesn't go as high up, so that's kind of unfortunate. I really like the height of this thing because you can film actually tall people, or if you're down and you're filming a stage, you can actually get up above the audience to actually film over the audience. So I love the height of this thing, but as far as the, the workmanship, I doubt it's gonna last more than 10 to 12 film shoots if you use it uh, regularly. I, I mean, not like you're abusing it or anything, but it will fail on you. You don't want a tripod to fail. Anything that touches the earth, spend money on. So shoes, tires, tripods. Anything that touches the earth and gets you off the ground, spend money on that. That's my rule of thumb. Bo Shimsu here, reviewing, demonstrating all sorts of fun, fantastic things here on Amazon. And I doubt I can return this thing, uh, but hopefully this has saved you a bit of heartache in determining whether or not this tripod is right for you. Catch you later.